hello everyone thanks for joining me again on this channel if you're joining me for the first time please like the video subscribe to the channel and can also leave a comment below now this is Daxon and in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix FIFA 23 getting stuck at the load now if your FIFA um, 23 is um, freezing then you can also um, use this um, method to fix that now i've tested this method or this solution for about five pcs and they are all working very fine so i believe yours is going to work as well but if still it's not working then we will have to wait for ea to update the game all right so what i know about this issue is that um, not all the pcs that are complaining of these issues meet the requirement for the game so because of that the game is just going to keep on um freezing or lagging or um it's going to get stuck when you launch the game now this um this is a very simple step that you can um go um through and after that um your game is going to launch successfully if you uh, if it doesn't launch for the first time you can give it a try first um first second third and probably it's going to work for you all right so let's just get into it without wasting much time okay so now let's do this settings here so what we need to do now is to up right click on this FIFA 20 play icon and we go to properties now we go to properties we go to compatibility and we can scroll down um, and find change settings for all users right so here we are going to check these two boxes which is disable full screen optimizations and run this program as administrator so you're going to check these two boxes and you can go to change high dpi settings and we click on override high dpi scaling behavior right so you click on this and we click on ok you can apply and ok now you're down for fever 20, um, 23 icon so let's go to origin and do the same thing for origin so we click on properties and compatibility change settings for users and then we check these two boxes as we did before all right so let's also go to change high dp and click on this one just like that and then let's apply in case you're on steam too you can just do the same thing for steam all right so just right click that and go to properties and settings and then we can do that all right so right now we're done with these three icons here and the next thing we need to do is to go to the file um location so let me just right click on this open file location and let's locate this software which is ea anti-cheat software right so we are going to do the same thing for this software as well so let's right click on that properties and let's go to this change settings for all users we are going to check this and come to change and do that same thing here that is that so now we have finished or we are done with the first part and what we need to do next is to download this file here i'll leave the link in the description so after you have this let's quickly extract the file all right let me just open it and let me extract it on my desktop all right the file is um two megabyte or something so it's not that huge you can just download it anyways all right so it's it's, it's just eight megabyte right by it's compressed so it's two megabyte all right so uh, after extracting this file here what you need to do is to copy this file or you can open um, this pc and you can go to my documents or documents and we are going to uh, put this file into my document all right so if you put it there you're going to replace all the other files there 
so you click on that or you can delete your previous one and then you put in this one so you do that and now we are done so let's just quickly run our game and see whether it's going to work like i said it has been tested um, on about five machines and they are all working fine so i believe this is going to work for over 70 percent um people having this same problem right so leave us uh, a comment and let's see whether this worked for you or not